if you guys can see them, but they have boobies on them and they're like my favorite thing ever. So what's up guys, this is Maria and I'm about to show you some of my essentials. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I guess my main thing, which is, my shoes on the course. These are my main shoes. Um, I use the Adidas Turex um, just because the bottoms and they're a little dirty, but um, I like never slip in these, ever. Um, and whenever the tee pad is super slippery, I get really freaked out and I, I just cannot throw the disc straight. So knowing that I'm not gonna slip is a huge thing for me and these are my favorite and also, um, I don't know if you guys can see them, but they have boobies on them and they're like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, you're gonna see these on the course all the time. Um, next up is this little bag I have. It turns into like a little satchel purse, but usually I put it up here in my bag um, and it's where I store my little wallet, lead glass, uh, headphones, and phone, which should be in here, because I, if anyone has ever played a disc golf round with me, you know that my phone is gonna be lost like at some point or another. So I, I'm really working on zipping it up this year and just leaving it alone. Uh, next up for my snacks. Honestly, during tournaments, I get a little nervous and I can't eat much in the morning. So my go-tos are like Kind bars or Cliff bars are good. I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Um, really whatever I can just like stash in my bag and get going. But something that I like to start my morning off is this little uh, fire tonic from Wildfire Elixirs. This thing is like 10 times the little like apple cider things that you see in the stores. Um, they're from Oregon and it's the truth and it really gets you going. Um, and then another like drink type of thing that I like is these element packets. Um, and they're like the electrolyte drink mix that everyone uses, but they're not sugary at all. They're super salty and they taste great, but yeah, there's no added sugar, so it's, it's sick. Um, and there's a lot of like sodium, potassium and magnesium, which you lose a lot if you're sweating a lot. And you know, if you play disc golf, you'd be sweaty out there. So yeah, I use these. Um, and if I'm cheating, I usually have something sweet because I have a really bad sweet tooth and I can't help myself. But right now, it's these cheekies. <laughs> and these are little like, I don't know, the best way I could describe them are really like from, they're Oreos, but like from Guatemala. Um, or just from Central America, I'm not really too sure. But yeah, it's just chocolate and like a little, butter cookie thing, it's hand warmers. This is crucial for me, because when it gets cold, and obviously I'm in, I'm in Texas, so it doesn't get cold too often, but when it does, I need hand warmers because my fingers don't fire the disc without them. Um, I've been using these new uh, Ignite ones. I like this brand a lot. Um, I've been trying them out for a couple weeks now, because um, it's been cold here, and they work really good, and they're um, you can reuse them, so it's really nice. Next um, is these chums I've been using because I have these fancy new um, goggles and I can't risk uh, them falling off and me stepping on them, which I did last year and it was awful and I, ugh, it was just awful. But yeah, these help me not do that anymore. So I love these. Um, I look a little nerdy, but you know, that's the price we pay for being four eyes. Um, and then next up, I guess my like, disc essentials i'm so excited about this season like i have so many new goodies that i get to play with and i'm just i can't wait to get back on the course and next up i'm going to talk about my bag which i'm so excited about because my new sponsors for bag and apparel next season are kavu um, this bag is new to me and I've been using it for the last like month or so and I am obsessed. Like everyone that's seen it on the course have come up to me and just been like, whoa, this is so cool, which obviously I agree with. Um, I just love the pattern. Um, and yeah, I like that it's super sturdy 
And I love this little side, little satchel thing. It can come off and turn into like a little bag, which I'm obsessed with. But uh, yeah, let's get into some discs. I am sponsored by Infinite and TSA, Thought Space Athletics uh, next year. And I am super stoked to throw their discs. Um, I'm, I'm beyond grateful for them allowing me to be on their team and the discs that I'm throwing right now, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about. Like, let me get into the purple ones. I didn't mean to do this, but these are definitely some of my favorites right now. First one is this Praxis. Um, this is a very neutral putter. I can throw it into any wind and honestly, it's gonna be pretty straight and just kind of sit flat. This new Berg I have, oh my gosh, this thing I've been loving throwing. It's a really weird mold, but it fits really well in my hand and I can forehand it really well. It's like a cheat code for me. I'm, I'm really excited to throw this around a lot. Um, and something that I haven't had in the last five years is a really solid mid range that I love. And this, um, and this Pathfinder is amazing. It is super neutral, but it still kind of fades out at the end. And it's just super reliable. And the feel is amazing. I love it. And this one is uh, Eric Oakley's and it's pretty sick. Next up is this Sphinx from Infinite Discs. And I've been really loving this. This has basically replaced my Roadrunner, um, but it's a tad more stable. And I think it's cause this one's Halo, but I love it. It goes really far. Um, another disc that I've been loving is this Coalesce, and this is a newer mold that they have, but I love the feel of this thing. Um, I haven't messed around with it too, too much, but so far it pretty much flies like a T-Bird 3 almost, um, which I love. Um, but yeah, I love this disc. And then another one that I have been really loving is this Votum. And this one's like neutral to stable. Um, I can forehand it, backhand it, um, and it fits in my hand really well. So I'm, I've been loving this thing. Plus look at the stamp, so sick. And yeah, that's about all my faves. These are just random molds that I've been throwing for the last year. So I'm still trying to work some in, but yeah, these are my main, my main things.